Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is building time again today. We are going to build a Lego City set, a big one. This is the Lego City Airport Passenger Terminal, and of course it has a plane in it. And I've already built the Heart Lake City Airport quite a while ago, and I'm curious to see how the two of these compare. So let's have a look. We've got eight bags, ooh, and a very large wingspan. And in this bag here we have got Ooh, four instruction books and a big sheet of stickers. So let's have a look at the minifigures that come in the first bag. First up we have got an airport worker by the look of it. He's got a pen around his neck and he's got his identification badge, which is very important. And he has only an orange cap, which is also very important. So we're starting with a little part of the build. This is the airport service car, which actually provides quite a lot of services around the airport and for the airplanes. So let me see, there's the front and it looks like it probably still needs some wheels. I put that on the wrong spot. We've got some hooks out the side, they're going to be useful. And there's a big sticky uppy piece there for this sign that says, follow me. Oh, look, it's working. He's following it. Okay, we brought him back because um, he, he needs to be here for driving the car. So the follow me sign is on the back with some beacons on the side. And yes, we do need some wheels. Very important if we want this to actually go anywhere. <laughs> All right, uh, wheels are on. And let's, yeah, no, don't look at the follow me sign again. <laughs> you can hop in, you can drive it. There we are, now he's driven it away. Are you coming back? Are you coming back? Yes, he is coming back. Oh, he's got some people following the follow me sign. Well, it's obviously a very effective sign. Ha, huh, look at that, they're just following it. It's a little bit creepy. Let's take them away and let's keep building some, some hook-ons. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the proper term, but some things that are going to hook on to our service car. Some services, to provide some services. And he's sitting in here. <laughs> it needs some wheels. So this is a little trailer. And this is going to be handy for maybe the baggage. Maybe it's the baggage train. Yes, it is. He's just brought me some, he's brought me some bags. So we've got a gray one and a brown one and he's going to put them in very carefully. Yep. So delicately with such grace and care. He's taking so much care of those valuable bags that belong to other people. <laughs> okay. They're all hooked up and there we go. See now that little trailer is following me, <laughs> following the car. Oh, now they're back again. You're not baggage. Hop out of the baggage trailer. <laughs> are they standing on those ports? Because if those ports are squashed by the time they get to their destination, there are going to be some very cranky passengers. Right, we are up to bag number two. Oh my goodness. Olivia has stolen the follow me sign and Olivia is balancing those on her head. She's doing quite a good job. Hmm, I just hope they don't fall. Here's another airport worker. He is, oh, he's got a red hat. So, oh, and he is cross with these girls for playing with the bags. So, oh, let's chase them away. Oh, <laughs> probably, probably we should get on with some more of the building. Let's do that. Another service car. And this one has got a uh, white red and green stripes on it. Oh, and a lever and a little hook and a big long stringy thing, which we're going to roll up and put in here. There we are. It's the fuel. So it's going to be the fuel for the aeroplane. It's going to need wheels too. So it can be trolleyed out and follow me. <laughs> and then we can refuel the plane. Good. Next one. Now this one only gets two wheels. Oh, it's the staircase. So it's the, yeah, it's the staircase to, no. <laughs> They're like little lemmings. They're just climbing up and falling off. They're all okay. <laughs> right, yo. Yeah, I know you were chasing them, but you obviously did not catch them. Right, let's hook this on. So that's going to be for, oh, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we'll put you back in here. So that is for taking to the aeroplane so that the passengers can get in the door. Perfect. Oh, and now you've got a hop-on. <laughs> and now you've got two hop-ons. 
<laughs> I don't think they're taking this very seriously. This is very important stuff. You are taking big security risks here. Right, we are up to bag number three. <laughs> and we've got another minifigure. Actually, we've got a few in here, so let's see. We have now got some passengers. She looks nice and um, very casually decked out here in her green jacket. There we are. So one happy passenger will straighten her head up. Good, and we've got another passenger. It's curious, there are only two passengers for the plane, but hopefully it will seat more than that. Oh, and this guy has got a black briefcase. And he did not entrust that to the baggage handlers. Probably a good idea to keep that as carry-on. <laughs> and there's another minifigure in this set. This one is the pilot. There we are. Oh, look at those snazzy sunnies. There. No, but I'm going to swap these around a bit. There we are. A new pilot. Actually, I think that hair goes really well with those sunglasses. And I've just found some other spare hair that I had lying around for the poor lady. So she didn't have to go around with no hair. Right, it is plane time. Let's get started on the underbelly of the plane. So we need to make the length of that first. This is one big piece for the tail, well, for the back of the plane, it's not the tail. And there's, you, you're seeing a consistent colour scheme here now. You can see that the plane is going to be blue and orange and grey and white. Very nice. And we're putting some stickers on. And it's going to be quite important that we line these up because there are some stripes along them. You'll see. You'll see as we go along. So we're putting the floor in on the plane and we've got some seats for the passengers. Two, three, four, four. Four seats. Four seats. Look at that wingspan. That is just huge. We've got some stickers on there too. So the fuel inlet and a little hatch of some sort, maybe to get to the electricals. And another fuel inlet on the other side. And let's put this on. We might need to move the passengers out of the way. And good. And the pilot is waiting very patiently for the cockpit, <laughs> so she has somewhere to sit. <laughs> hey, I know, so patient, she, look, she's ready. But before we do the cockpit, we need to outfit the galley first. So here is the tiniest little fridge with one drink in that I can't actually fit in. There we are, one drink for four passengers. They're gonna love sharing that. <laughs> and next to that, the, we've got a little sink. Good. All right. And a chair. A chair for the flight attendant to sit in. And that looks like it's it for the galley. All right. Cockpit time. You can have somewhere to sit in just a moment, Madam Pilot. There we are. There. See? Now you look comfy. And we might put some of the stickers on here to give you some actual controls to fly the plane. <laughs> that would be handy. <laughs> Okay, and these ones, yep, they've already got their stickers on them. Well, not stickers, they're printed. And a cup, the ubiquitous cup that you all need to have if you are a pilot. And we're up to bag number four, and we are now doing the teeniest, tiniest little bathroom. See, that's the toilet in the back here, in the back of the plane. And of course, you if you've been on a plane and you've had to visit the bathroom, you will know that bathrooms in planes are teeny tiny. So this one is no exception. <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> and we've got some little cabinets, but they're facing outwards on the side. So that's going to be part of the facade of the plane. That'll be interesting. And the door is a swing door. Hmm. And another little cabinet for the other side. And the bathroom, the toilet, is complete. We just need to put the roof on. Check that out. That is snug. <laughs> it's very small. Ah, cozy. <laughs> All right. We need some windows so they can look out at everything as they go past. Lots of clouds and lots of sky. And a whole big row of windows on the other side too. There we are. And we are putting the roof on. Look at that. It is, this is, there's not a lot of room in there. And of course we can take off the roof if we want to be able to access the people inside because they've got all those little jumpers on them. And we, we've got the door now. I love this. That's such a clever design. 
I know it's not a new design, but it's such a clever design to use that as a hatch door. And there we are. We've lined up the stripes. I am amazed <laughs> at myself. And the plane. The plane is almost done. Got some more stickers here. We need a matching one on the other side with the stripes lining up. Oh, I've got a crinkle. There we go. Got rid of the crinkle. And now we just need some of the... Well, we're going to need some engines. And we're up to bag number five. So hopefully bag number five holds the engines. That would be useful for powering the plane. Here we are. Here's one for one side and we need one for the other side. More stickers. Okay, the plane's identity is now determined. <laughs> the plane is called JM60104. There we are. Now we've got some engines and now I think we need we we need some wheels. We're going to need a tail fin as well. So there's our landing gear. Very good. Let's find the right holes to put it into. Yep, just there. And we need a spinny one for the front so we can change directions. The back ones are fixed. The front one rotates and swivels around. Oh, that looks really great. Okay, now we need... Well, not tail fin yet. I don't know what these are called, the little flippy uppy bits on the end of the wings. <laughs> I have no idea, I don't know anything about planes. But I'm going to assume that they have something to do with helping control the plane when it's in the air. Now we've got the identification sticker on our tail fin and the plane is pretty much complete. There we are! Spectacular! What a stunning, big, fantastic plane. So we've just delivered the staircase here and detach it from our service vehicle. There. Now you can go in, you can check that everything is, well, you can't even stand up. <laughs> it's all good. All's in order. Excellent. We can start on bag number six, which starts our airport terminal. And we've got another minifigure here. We've got, he's dressed very smartly, this fellow. And I think he might be intended to be the, uh, the, um, the flight attendant, or maybe somebody who works at the airport, uh, at the terminal. It's up to you, really, at the passenger terminal. It is time for the passenger terminal, and there are lots of... Ooh, spinny thing. There are lots of smooth bricks here at the front. It's looking very sophisticated. Very modern. Lots of steel structure here. Oh, and that's the security thing that you walk through that goes beep if you have to take off your shoes or your belt because it's detected something metal in them. And this is curious. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I know what this is going to be. We need another one. It's revolving doors. It is the highest revolving doors ever. Is that so you can like, stack people on top of each other in there? <laughs> Why would you need revolving doors so high? It looks spectacular, though, doesn't it? Because you can let a lot of light in. And we're up to bag number seven. It's looking good. Let's extend the passenger terminal now. We need a whole heap of nice, smooth, flat bricks over there so that it matches the other side. And over here at the front, it's the, uh, there's a chair there. And it's obviously, maybe it's where you check in. Maybe it's the check-in desk. There's a computer there. Or maybe it's where you, oh, it's where you come to get your bags checked. So they slide through and you check. Maybe, I don't know, there's no actual security overhanging thing there. Maybe it's just where you check in. I don't know. It's up to you. And now we've got some seats, a waiting area for the passengers. <laughs> and some extras, some hop-ons. And some more nice big white, well, I reckon they're steel, big, big steel girdery things. 
steel structures. Steel framework with lots of blue glass and steel framework. So modern, so sleek, so sophisticated. And I love the turny bit at the top of the revolving doors. <laughs> I love the revolving doors. the conveyor belt that's good we've got a turny bit the knob <laughs> so we can turn it and make it move so we can send the bags all the way to the other end there we ready up oh, or we could send Noah all the way to the uh, <laughs> other side <laughs> and we're up to bag number eight <laughs> we're almost there there's not a lot inside this passenger terminal so we've done on the inside the outside gets a bin and uh, a bus sign. There we are. So you oh, know how to get places and Noah's playing with my favourite part of this set so far. <laughs> we'll just leave him there in the revolving doors while we put a little roof on our very fancy terminal. And we need a sign too which says airport just in case there was any confusion. And on the very top, this is a very cool feature, we need a control tower. So let's build that. We've got another spinny spot and there we go. You can keep, you can sit in this chair and you can keep an eye on, it's the air traffic control through your, well, you can visually look out through your big blue windows. <laughs> or you can have a look at the computer screen or you can do both very important job there we are there's another spinny bit on the top perfect let's install this on the top of the passenger terminal ah uh, no yep yep there like that excellent we're finished it's time to fly somewhere who's gonna fly in this plane first oh it's olivia and livy right where are they going oh and noah but he doesn't have a bag I don't know that Noah's coming. I think he's just escorting the girls in and then he's going to wave them off. He might have driven them in. He's very, very gallant like that. And they're going around and they're going around a lot and they're going really fast and Olivia has fallen out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know that she's okay. Is she okay? She's okay. Or oh, they're okay. Can we get Noah out, do you think? No, he's still spinning. Silly Noah. <laughs> Except now uh, this man has come to tell them that they've come in the wrong way. They actually have to go through the security check. So I don't know how they got in the airport without actually going through a security check. So Livy's fine. All green for her. Olivia. Yep, she's good too. Uh, Noah. Not so good. He needs to be checked. No, he's good. No, no idea what set that off. <laughs> okay, and time to send the bags up through well there's no security check there but anyway we'll send them on our conveyor belt into the baggage <laughs> trailer and Noah's going to go this way oh my goodness <laughs> the plane is coming to land so the men are coming out to refuel and restock and do all the important things they need to do the baggage man is here too and we'll put the bags in this little spot in here except the door doesn't close properly Maybe we need to put them... no. Right, the door doesn't close properly. Hopefully we don't lose all the baggage when we're in the air. The pilot is ready. The passengers are in. They're going to taxi out. And Matthew's up here in the, uh, in the traffic control. And he says they are clear for... Hold on, not landing. Clear for takeoff. There they go. Bon voyage. Have a safe trip. Does anyone know where they were going? I have no idea. I suppose we'll find out when they get there. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos. And I'll be back with a new one very, very soon. Mm -hmm.